the first ratio that we are going to look at is current ratio right current ratio will be given by current asset by current liabilities if somebody asks you whether this should ratio should be higher or lower as we saw in the introduction section your answer should be it depends we saw in the previous section that a shareholder a shareholder wants current asset to be lower and current liability to be higher right so meaning he whenever he buys a goods he where whenever he buys a goods he wants to collect it immediately or if possible he want to collect at once whenever he sorry whenever he buys a goods he wants he do not want to pay immediately sorry about that whenever a businessman or a shareholder buys a goods for the on behalf of the company he would do not want to pay immediately he want to drag it as soon as long as possible so that his money is not invested in the system but supplier's money is invested so a shareholder want this number to be higher on the other hand if he sells a goods which is current asset he do not want any receivable he want to receive money immediately or in this case he wants to receive advance so in which case he wants if he receives an advance then current asset will be a negative number right and current liability to be a, will be a big positive number and hence your current ratio could be negative or even if you assume that you want your current ratio, current asset to be zero and current liability to be big positive he wants a shareholder prefers a current ratio to be zero right on the other hand if you if he is a creditor if you are analyzing from a creditor's perspective what we have to look at is <coughs> current asset he wants current asset to be as less as possible because if you are giving money to this company you want to ensure that you can you, you would be able to collect the money and hence you want this current assets of this company to be as high as possible so that this company has enough liquid assets using which you can receive your money so this creditors money is what is blocked as current liabilities the first ratio that we are going to calculate is current ratio as we saw this current ratio has to be calculated as current asset by current liabilities what are current liabilities current liabilities are goods purchased by the company and has not yet been paid for current assets are sales made by the company and not yet collected for or inventory lying idle right so if somebody asks you which is a good current ratio then your answer as we saw in the previous section will be it depends it depends it depends on what who is the say from which stakeholders perspective are we analyzing if you are analyzing from a shareholders perspective then we want this current liabilities to be as high as possible because you want to purchase your raw material today and pay it much later so that your money is not blocked in the system but supplier's money is blocked in the system so a shareholder wants current liability to be as high as possible at the same time he wants current assets to be as low as possible when he sells a goods he wants to collect the cash as immediately or at least he wants sometimes he wants advance so when he when he has to pay to somebody he wants this number to be bigger big positive number when he has to receive cash he wants the receivables to be either zero or at least neg or if possible negative in which case we are speaking about this current asset by current liability as zero 
by a big positive number right and hence a shareholder this implies that a shareholder prefers the current ratio as as low as possible let's take a creditor's perspective if you are a creditor and has given money to this company has supplied goods to this company and waiting for the payment your biggest concern is you should receive your cash immediately at least properly so if you had to receive your cash then what would you prefer then you would prefer this company has lesser liability because if it has lesser liability the probability of collecting is higher so a creditor prefers current liability to be lower and he prefers current asset to be higher for example if a company has a current asset which is a cash then this creditor can rely on that for collecting his outstanding so a creditor prefers current asset to be big positive and current liability to be zero or a smaller number or a small number so if you do this then you are saying about a big number in the numerator and a smaller number in the denominator and hence he wants this current asset to be current current asset to current liability ratio to be higher so while shareholder wants it to be lower a creditor wants it to be higher so now let's assume that we are interpreting this numbers from a shareholders perspective so and then go ahead and calculate this ratios current assets current assets average current asset is given here sorry sorry about that equal to average and current liabilities is on the other side of the balance sheet so your current ratio is for 2011 is 2.4 and this year also it's 2.4 as a result you can comment that the current ratio has remained same or the liquidity when it is measured in terms of current ratio has remained the same for a moment let's assume that this ratio has changed to 3 now what would you what would be your interpretation if i am a shareholder then i would be unhappy as we saw in the explanation a shareholder prefers this ratio to be as low as possible so this ratio increasing can happen in two ways either current asset has increased or current liability has increased decreased both of which is a money blocked in the system for a shareholder right if current asset increases meaning shareholder has increased his investment or current liability decreasing meaning somebody else who funded your business has taken that away both of that are not good for a shareholder and hence in this case the shareholder would be unhappy whereas the creditor would be happy because the creditor now has if a creditor has to receive 1 rupee if a creditor has to re receive 1 rupee then he has rupees 3 to fall back on so his chance of getting his money back has increased and hence a creditor would be happy in this case fine this is how you have to calculate and interpret current ratio